This video highlights our Cobra Flex Padlock, uh, designed to have user-changeable uh, lock cylinders uh, using standard 7 8 inch cam locks. This is the Cobra 7. The padlock body that we're going to use has already been disassembled, so we're going to show you how to assemble it using the Cobra 7 uh, cam lock. It can also accept the Cobra Matic 7, it can accept the Medico cam lock, and it can also accept the Abloy cam lock. Cam the Flex Padlock is designed to have user-changeable uh, hardened steel shackles. Let me get this ball here, it's rolling around. Uh, can be changed from one to a two inch. We use a two ball locking system so that either side of the shackle is locked with a hardened steel uh, locking ball. To assemble, take the left side of the padlock as it's pointing towards you, put the first hardened steel ball in, then we take the lock cylinder, uh, insert our locking cam onto it using the smaller of the two Allen wrenches Tighten it down securely. Insert our spacer over the padlock. It has two flats on it to coincide with the two flats of the cam lock. Uh, on the cam, with the biggest cutout, put to the left side of the padlock. Insert in. Keep it secured as you tighten up. the two Allen screws on either side of the padlock. Don't tighten them uh, securely, just snug them up a little bit for now. Now, on the right side, you insert the other hardened steel ball. Then you take the hardened steel shackle. You insert it in with the long side on the right side. Might be a little tough to get in, but just push it in. Once that is in there and secure, you can actually test it now. And when it's locked, the shackle won't pull up. When it's open, the shackle will pull up. Then you go ahead and tighten down on the Allen screws that hold that lock cylinder in. The Allen screws are designed to hold the lock cylinder on the two flats of the lock cylinder. Next, we will uh, insert our lock retaining ring it's threaded. It will thread into the body of the lock, making it virtually impossible to pull out the lock cylinder. I use a quarter here to tighten this uh, ring. And as you tighten it, you're going to notice that it has four cutouts. Tighten it as tight as you can. And then if you have to loosen it up a little bit to get <clears throat> two of the cutouts perpendicular to the length of the lock, uh, that's okay to do that. We're going to be inserting a Allen screw, the larger of the Allen screws, into the side of the lock. It will engage the cutout of the, of the lock ring and hold it securely in place. Now, as you see, we're putting a lot of Allen screws in here. Uh, one of the things we had to do was make sure those Allen screws are protected. Uh, we don't want anyone coming up and using an Allen wrench and just unscrewing an Allen screw. So what we did is we designed it so that the shackle is protecting uh, on one side the Allen screws and on the other side, the side that the shackle lifts out of, we have a hardened steel roll pin that you insert into the lock and then it is secured uh, by an Allen screw. The Allen screw's job is to just hold that hardened steel roll pin into place. Take the uh, Allen screw, you insert it all the way into the threaded uh, section. Screw it down, tighten it down. Now you're going to have hardened steel protection of the Allen screws on both sides of the padlock. That uh, means that no one is going to be able to come up and just unscrew it and take the lock apart. Uh, here again, you can test it. We've made a dust cover that uh, goes over the lock cylinder, as you can see. Uh, we've also designed three plastic caps, uh, once they don't get away from you. We've decided, 
uh, three plastic caps that will fit into the hole uh, where the Allen screws go. These are designed just to keep dust and dirt and gunk uh, out of those holes. That's all, that's all it's there for. Uh, now you have our Cobra Flex Padlock uh, with the user-changeable uh, lock cylinders. Contact us at LockingSystems.com.